Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at Titan from Nicholas Lawrence and the other brothers. All right, so what is Titan? Titan is an ink vanish. It is a transformation effect. It's a jumping ink routine. Uh, sometimes uh, we've seen this maybe done with special pens or special ink. Uh, what Nicholas Lawrence has done is he's created a way for us to do the jumping ink routine with just a deck of cards and a normal Sharpie marker. So in the basic routine, uh, what you do is you just have a card selected. Uh, that card could be signed by the spectator, but it's not necessary because you leave it in plain view the entire time. Uh, you place it on the table, kind of balanced against the tuck box. Then you have another card selected. Could be any random card, it doesn't really matter. And then on the back of that card, you draw an image. Let's say you draw a star. All right, you show the star to the spectator and then you riffle the edge of the deck, mysteriously, the star vanishes from the back of the card they were just staring at, and it immediately appears on the back of their selected card. Of course, you could give them their selected card as a souvenir. They could keep it for the rest of their life so they could always have something to remember you by. Nicholas Lawrence is gonna give you a lot of ideas. Certainly, this trick is gonna get your creative juices flowing. Let's talk about this review. All right, so a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what's in the box? Well, you don't really get a box, you get a little black envelope, little black coin envelope. Inside that, you're gonna get one working gimmick, okay, one working gimmick, and then you'll get some pieces to build your own gimmick should you want a second one. You'll also get the download code. Download code will take you out to the internet, and give you access to a video that's roughly 32 minutes long. Is it what I thought? Uh, it kind of is what I thought. I figured it was some sort of bird wing device, and it is. And those of us who are familiar with this style of movement, uh, I think the, there's a tell in the trailer uh, of what kind of uh, card gaff this would be. And so I think it might be obvious to some magicians who've been around the block, but uh, I think it's gonna fly right by layman. How are the angles on this? Uh, there are some angles because of the nature of the gimmick. The gimmick has a uh, shadow in it that could be seen depending on lighting and angles. So I would be wary of people uh, that would be in a position where they could see that shadow. Uh, so you could flash if it's in you know, the wrong kind of lighting or people were standing in the wrong places. Can it be inspected? Of course, we never inspect gimmicks. Uh, Nicholas Lawrence will teach you how to ring in and ring out uh, an inspectable card that should be the only card the spectator needs to see or touch. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, Nicholas Lawrence is seated in a living room style setting. He has a cameraman. Cameraman pans and moves with his movement. Uh, most of the time, uh, the camera is gonna be focused on his hands and the table. So that's uh, where most of the attention will be. He is well mic'd and so everything is perfectly well heard. Uh, as far as what he's gonna teach you, he's gonna go over what you are given inside the envelope. He's gonna cover the main routine He'll quickly cover the riffle force because you should know how to force the uh, force card. He's gonna go over a second routine, a bonus routine, which is a corner tear where you tear the corner off the chosen card and then in a flash restore it. Then he'll give you some more ideas like maybe you would do a moving hole plot or the graphic could change on the back, like maybe you make a scribble and then it transforms into a number. Uh, you could also do a trick where you write down a miscalled card, right? Uh, they select the ace of spades, for instance, and you write three of clubs on the back of the cards. They say, no, it's the ace of spades. You riffle the deck and, and then what you miscalled transforms into their chosen card. You could also do a jumping X routine. And then the rest of the video, the whole second half of the video is how to build the gimmick. Is it well made? It is very well made, but it is uh, simple. It is simple to do. Um, I think once you get the gimmick, uh, you'll immediately see how it's built and you could probably just copy its design without even watching the tutorial. How much practice does it require? Uh, it's a pretty easy skill set. I think once you watch the tutorial and you play around with the gimmick, you'll probably catch this easily within a 
you know, 10 minutes or so. It's not gonna take you long, especially if you already know how to force a card. Uh, and if you've ever done these kind of tricks where you have like a gimmick and a force card somewhere in your deck, I think you'll fall into this really easily. How much setup and reset is there? Like I just said, uh, it's really only two cards that are placed in the deck. There's the gimmick and the force card, and you're gonna put them where they feel the most natural to you. Positives, all right, so what are the positives to Titan? Uh, Titan places the jumping ink effect in your hands with no need for special pens or mess, and it's 100% gonna hit each time. Negatives, all right, so what are the negatives? You know, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I found. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Um, gave you all those ideas, right? And you're like, wow, there's a lot of ideas, but when you get your gimmick, you're only gonna use one of those ideas. You get one gimmick and then you come up with one idea. So if your idea is the star and the star jumps from the gimmick to their card, you're gonna write on the gimmick a star with permanent marker. So once you've done that, now that gimmick is star forever, okay? So think about what you wanna do before you start writing on your gimmick. Because once you write on your gimmick, it's, it's done unless you're gonna build another gimmick for another idea. So while the trick is good, right? There's nothing inherently wrong with the trick or the gimmick. The negative would be, it's a one hit wonder, right? You're, you're gonna do it for one thing and one thing only, unless you're gonna take the time to build more. Like I said, he gives you the materials to build a second one, which is fine. Um, but if you wanted to build even more beyond that, you would need a special type of card that not everybody has lying around the house. So just give a lot of thought to the trick you wanna do before you start drawing on stuff. Is it worth your money? It is 20 bucks. $20 for a pre-made gimmick, extra supplies, and a 32 minute video, plus a brilliant idea from Nicholas Lawrence, I think is well worth your money. I do know that this is an idea that Nicholas Lawrence has released in the past. So if you're already a fan of Nicholas Lawrence, or maybe you've purchased some of his live lectures, you may already own this effect. So kind of go back to those uh, PDFs or those live lectures and see if maybe you already own it. But if you don't own it, I think 20 bucks is definitely worth your money. As far as who would like this, I think people that do card tricks, right? This is totally, this is totally you. Uh, I think the idea of having the selected card and then putting it down when it blows over kind of implies you need a table. I suppose you could do this in the spectator's hands. You could put the tuck box in their hands. They could hold it out, right? And you could put the card in the flap so that the chosen card faces them. They could be holding onto it and they could literally watch you blow the card over, fall, and they would see it. And immediately they could grab it themselves because it's in their hands. And I think that kind of movement and then maybe placing this up at their eye level would take a little bit off of the heat that's on your gimmick in your hands. Plus when it falls over, I think they're immediately gonna wanna grab it. And as they're looking at this, you can ditch or do whatever you need to do uh, with yours. So I think it would work uh, in a street magic setting as well, maybe even better. All right, so that's everything I can say about Titan from Nicholas Lawrence and the Other Brothers. Of course, I wanna thank Nicholas Lawrence, the Other Brothers, Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this so that I can do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, you can always find it from your very favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks, I'll see you guys next time, bye.